Hello, it's the Big Big Palace here, and it's the hamsters' daytime at the moment. Like, so they're all awake and raring to go. So I'm just gonna do a really quick cage tour. So first of all, we've just got her normal um, cardboard tube, and then behind that we've got uh, we've got these little like coconut treats with a fruity treat and a honey stick so that's what she's got over there and this is nibbles and you don't really see nibbles out and about that often because my videos are usually during the actual day so obviously you don't really see any so I've just got her regular water bottle which I do really want to change all of my pet water bottles to living world because these ones leak really bad but £5 something 99 for a glass bottle and I've got to get like, like five it's all like, it's ridiculous for like animal bottles but I'm gonna just get them though like, I'm just gonna have to just go get them really because I really wanna so then over there I love that tunnel over there like the naturals one which is like I got it from uh, Wilkinson's and she absolutely adores it like before she couldn't actually because I got her some a couple of months ago she couldn't actually fit through her so I got them again and she can squeeze through now so obviously she's losing the weight nicely which is what I wanted her to do then she's just got her little cardboard box over there which I usually put in a fresh one each week because they chew it down I've got like a little knobbly Nora there which she has actually chewed a bit but this here this is what she started to chew on of a night like this makes such a racket as you can see see she has actually chewed it which i am pleased about it's just the noise that it makes as when she's chewing it so then i don't know if i can get this and then behind she's got like a little um wood tunnel which she gnaws at and just like squeezes through then she's got her little uh, like little home over there and with nibbles sometimes i'll find her asleep in there and sometimes i'll find her asleep in that corner over there it just depends really so i'm going to give her a little bit more food because she's had a bit of a a uh, bit of a mega munch basically so this is her second floor so i don't know if you can actually see but uh so that's just another half of that tunnel and she has really chewed that as well as you can see so she's oh actually she's got a fresh uh, food bowl up here which is pretty full um then right in the corner she's got her honey stick and i don't know she's got a little bit of a munch up here as well because she brings it all into her certain little places then right at the back i've got like a natural chew ball with a ball inside and then she's got just a normal roundabout but not she's back in her little house at the moment but i'm gonna move on to caramel so i'm just gonna slide across the floor so ugh. so then caramel has got a little four poster bed which is actually tipped up i'm just going to quickly show you her while she's up and up up and about so this is caramel her second floor is actually pink because i thought it was really cute and i could tell the cages from the other ones so this is caramel um she's about a year now she's a syrian hamster um she's a very what's the word she loves to explore basically and she literally she loves to chew everything which is obviously what hamsters do but both of my hamsters got completely different personalities which is really cute so so then i'm going to get on with her cage tour so she's got her little elephant over there which is her teddy then half a loo roll tube with like a really really gnawed down i cannot believe how much she's out of that i really cannot i've just literally noticed now that was a big corn on the cob like that and she's literally demolished it into like the middle bit i'm really happy because i literally i got those like thinking she might not like them but she might but she obviously loves them if she's got down a whole cucumber in literally one night then that is definitely a, a lover for her. So yeah, this is Caramel just having a wander around.
Uh, anyway, on with the tour. So she's got her little tunnel over there. Uh, just the leftovers of her little toilet house. And she's got an edible food bowl over there and her coconut house over there with her tube which goes up to a second floor which has got her little house over there, her food bowl and a couple of treats in the corner with a fresh cucumber no, it's not real but yeah um, with her treat selection in the corner which she's got a honey stick and a fruit stick so yeah this is Caramel's cage but because she's such a chewer she literally chews everything so like, I put her in like five new chew items the other day like, she's got like a little tug rope over there I don't know if you can see it's like buried but she just literally de like demolishes everything so <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, go stock up again but yeah I'm glad that the animals are obviously enjoying their selves because they seem a lot happier now that they're in these cages like I'm not even just saying that they just seem like they've got more um energetic they're actually happier they don't try and escape anymore they're happy living in where they're living basically so she's munching on her cucumber hello it's so pretty 